Today's guest is Dr. Gina Labram. Gina and I actually met camping. <laughs> okay. So I took a camping trip down in Moab, Utah, and we had a mutual friend. And so she came and we were sitting around the campfire one day and she just went off. Like it reminded me so much of me. <laughs> she just went off on this health tangent about wasting energy with bad posture and how she just wished people could understand this one thing. And I have all those little things like that. And I was like, so I invited her on. I was like, come, come talk about it on the podcast. And wow, this is such a good conversation. She is, she's just wise. She's got the wisdom. If you want the wisdom behind health, it's way more than just, just chiropractic stuff. Like she's living, breathing health. She has seven kids. She's incredibly fit, incredibly healthy. And she just has such a wonderful mindset around health. And she's sharing that today, as well as going deeper into what we're talking about with posture. And she has nine different facets of health that are just like, just nail it right on the head. It's just so good. So she's sharing her wisdom on all of that today. You can find her on TikTok where she shares a ton of incredible information. Um, stay young Cairo is her handle on there. And then her website is stay young chiropractic. Um, she does practice in Utah. So if you're in Utah, you can check her out at stay young Let's go ahead and dive into a bunch of health wisdom with Dr. Gina Labram. Before we get in the show, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about two awesome things that I have going on right now in my company. The first is my next hire retreat, which is going to be in Maui, Hawaii. This is May 10th through 14th. Please check it out at taragarrison.com slash retreat, and it will redirect you to that page. This is going to be focused all on physical health. So my retreats from now on will be focused on one of our four peaks of hire, which are personal, physical, professional, and people, which are like the four key areas of life that we focus on. And this retreat is all focused on physical. So we're doing a biohacking buffet, a biomechanics class, the mindsets behind physical transformation you might be missing. We're also doing health the way I feel like it should be done. And that is having fun, playing outside, hanging out with cool people. We're going to be surfing, spending some time at the beach, hula dancing, so many amazing things. So if you want to check that out again, it's taragarrison.com slash retreats. And, um, the other thing is a new coaching offer that I have. I'm very excited about this. This is my path to being able to help more people. And so I have offered a group coaching form of higher coaching. What that involves is a private coaching community, a group coaching call with me once a week. And you also get access to my coach Tara app included in this and access to every single program that I have ever released all in a vault for my higher coaching clients. So very excited about that. It is only $297 a month. So significantly discounted from my private coaching. So if that's interesting to you, please check it out at taragarrison.com. You'll just see it right there on my homepage, or you can go directly to the taragarrison.com slash higher dash coaching. All right, let's go ahead and get into the show. All right, Gina, I'm excited. We just talked about all these awesome health principles that you have. And you really struck me when we went camping and you were like, if people, you reminded me of me, you reminded me, you got on one of your tangents and you're like, if people just understood this, oh my gosh, you know, and right. I was like, so I feel that girl. I feel, I have things like that too. And you were talking about wasting energy, wasting energy with bad posture. But then as we started talking more, you were like, actually, that's only one of the, of, of nine really important principles for optimal health. And so I was wondering if we could start, cause I love how you start with health is in your head or good mm -hmm. health starts in your mind. So let's go yeah. through these nine principles. First one, good health starts in your mind. Did I say that right? Yes, health it does. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm your typical middle-aged woman who has had a bunch of kids and wrecked their body and was kind of like depressed and helpless. And then, I mean, I've been in the health industry, but it just takes a toll. And I just had to find, find true health. And I yeah. found it really had to start from here because I had been just beating myself up and making right. it happen right? until Forcing that it. shift. And now I spend mm -hmm. like 12 minutes a day thinking about my health and I've never been in better shape and I've never felt better. Yeah. So. I got to pause for people who are listening on audio because when she says she's a typical middle-aged woman, no, <laughs> You're, she's like, looks it's radiantly young with gorgeous, long hair, glowing skin, super fit. So, you know, you have, you figure, you. you figure something out, out here. And I love what you're talking about. I think of, um, David R Hawkins book power mm -hmm. versus force. And I always mm -hmm. think about that in terms of health. And I'm like, yeah, something's resonating yeah. there. Cause I definitely don't feel like I'm forcing it anymore and neither are you. So what do you mean by it starts in your head? It starts in your mind. Like, what does that mean? There's, there's flow. You know, if 
you have, um, here's my next, oh no, we're gonna skip one. Health is easier than you think. It with a little mm -hmm. understanding and a few easy hacks, it's just so much easier than we really make it. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to take a long time. It doesn't have to be complicated with all the equipment. Like, like you, you can, yeah, it's, it really is easy. Let's stop making it so complicated and really let's stop fighting our own selves. And, and, and it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for somebody who is 30, 40, 50 plus pounds overweight, and they mm -hmm. hear you say that, and they're like, really, really, Dr. Gina, it's easy. Cause it definitely doesn't feel easy. What would you say? Maybe they're missing in terms of those simple things. Okay. Then we're going to go back to number two here. Your body is on your team. Mm. Stop treating it like a bossy manager and it'll stop being a lazy, sneaky employee. Ooh. So think of the things that you do. You may not think you do this, but who when, think about a time when you've set your alarm, I'm going to get up and go to the gym. And then you hit snooze because you lied to yourself somewhere along the way. Mm, Either you lied wow. that you were going to go to the gym or you lied that you really didn't want to, but somewhere you're fighting yourself. Ooh. And if you just really are in integrity about what you really want, you make your decision. Am I going to get a kick-ass right. workout or am I going to get some really good sleep? But when right. you're in that middle place, nothing is happy. And yes. it's just static. You live with static. Yes. Interference is that that's exactly if you correct. want to sleep, freaking sleep. Right. But don't right. lie to yourself. You know? Oh, I love that. Yes. Yeah. I, I was just in, I have a coaching group and I was just writing to a woman. She's having a hard time with restrictive eating, right? And mm -hmm. it's the same thing. And I'm like, what's happening is you're telling yourself you can't have that food when you really can have it. Yes, and you if you really just can. fully sink into, of yep. course, I can have that. Anything you, I want. Right. You will go into this more mature energy where the inner rebel, the little inner child that has to prove it, it goes away. It has nothing to fight against. I'm hearing the same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's being exactly. good with our choices. I see this in all my personal growth work too. I'm like, dude, like stop putting this pressure on yourself of like, I have to go to the gym seven days this mm -hmm. week. And it's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well in that, on that day, I want you to make a mature decision that you're happy with. So like if right. you were up till one o'clock in the morning, cause your child was having an emergency mm -hmm. and you decided to sleep in, like, that's like being good with that choice right. is like in in alignment, not, Oh, I failed on my little arbitrary uh -huh. goal. Yeah. So I feel that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So we kind of hit the first three here. Uh, so okay. first one being good health starts in your mind. Uh -huh. The second one being your body's on your team. And I love how you say that you're going to be a tyrant. You're going to get a rebel. No, exactly. Story period. Yeah. And it then, always works that way. <laughs> yep. And then the yeah. third one, health is easier than you think. Let's mm -hmm. stick on that one a little okay. bit. What, mm -hmm. what is like, what does that mean in practicality? Like what's okay. really important in terms of health? So I've been a chiropractor for 20 years and you know what I'm tired of is chasing people's symptoms. Mm. When a person could just change their foot alignment, they don't have to have a hip surgery. Boom, wow. I'm magic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when you take your wallet out of your pocket and you don't sit like this and then compensate like this and right. like you become this zigzag up your spine, why would you do that? And it's so easy just to not. But all you have to do is know, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's just, you need to know those things, your gut lining. You know what? you're never going to have a strong immune system if you don't have a healthy gut lining. So let's stop ch chasing your, your aches and your pains. And of right. course you always feel inflamed. Let's look right. at your gut and solve all of these myriad little pesky symptoms with one really easy solution, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so posture and we'll get more into posture type stuff, mm -hmm. but just, I mean, I, I'm hearing across okay. the board from you, an aligned system, right? So if yeah. your gut is all whack, you know, yeah. your, your whole system is whack. If your posture and your, the way mm -hmm. you're walking and these little habits where you're sitting on your side, leaning in your car on the middle thing every single day, like whoop, sitting up, like yeah. being in alignment across the board internally and, and, and also yeah. in your posture really matter. And I love that you hit that on, on gut health. Cause 
God damn it, Gina. Like it is so frustrating sometimes right. when like people like, I, I, I know they have dysbiosis. I know it. I'm like, Oh, so you can't eat anything but meat. And otherwise mm -hmm. you just turn into a disaster. I'm like, you mm -hmm. have like, it's clear as day that you have a dysbiotic gut and you won't check. You won't check like spend <laughs> $300 on a stool analysis and find out and figure right. that your whole life can be better. Oh my gosh. So I get it. Yeah, I see why it reminded you of me. <laughs> yes it's just like oh everything can be easier yeah. just take it care of those things your life really easy yeah 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 so okay I love posture oh sorry did you have a question I, on gut stuff since we brought it up okay. uh -huh. is this something you run into a lot when you're seeing all these aches and pains and inflammation and your mind is going towards like do they all have messed up guts and that's what's causing all this stuff is that common well, it's huge i mean and it's so hard yeah. to say and that's what's causing everything because it's <laughs> yeah. system but um, the aches, you know, people come in and they have just, yeah, my shoulder aches and my hip aches. And it's like, how much of this is just chronic inflammation? You are yeah. a walking sprained ankle 100% of the time. Wow. You know, wow. why, why would you live like that? When really, what, whatever your issue is, do you need to do a detox? Do you need to, you know, like yeah. deal with your inflammation and most of these symptoms, yeah, you may have a herniated disc. Yeah. You may have some serious degeneration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you can take your pain from a seven down to a four. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And then mm -hmm. we go from there and your mm -hmm. body's more cooperative too. You know, it's mm -hmm. like these things are so easy, but you've got to know where to look. And a lot of people have no idea they're living inflamed all the time. Right. Yeah. I love that. A walking sprained ankle. Like if that doesn't hit That's what you, people know. they're like, Oh, I've sprained my ankle. All oh, that. Ooh, yuck. You know, mm -hmm. that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. So, I saw, I, there's a guy, I don't, I can't remember his name. And I, I just see him at the gym sometimes and he'll talk to me. He used to be power lifter, the classic, like inflamed, he's really inflamed. Like, you know, when uh -huh. you get their whole, they're all, their right, skin yeah. is just so red and he just looks mm -hmm. so inflamed. And, um, he was, you know, I always hear these comments from people that are, I, I'm, I'll be 40 in like a week. And, and it's like, oh, I'm just getting older. Everything hurts. And I'm like, right. no, dude, mm -hmm. no, because no. nothing hurts. That's not my term, but it's inflammation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I, I just told him straight up. I'm like, no, you don't have to feel like that. It's not right. just old age is you're inflamed as crap. I can tell by looking right. at you. I just told him straight up. So totally. yeah. Okay. So, and if obviously if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, I don't even know where to start with my gut, go to a professional, mm -hmm. like they've got right. the answers for you. So you know, and it might be a process. That's definitely what I found for people with really well, dysbiotic guts. But... You've been breaking yourself, you know, yeah. it's going to take a minute to unwind it. So yeah. that's a good frame of reference to, to, or a, a, a mindset to set. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, but going back to health is easier than you think. Like, you know, what leads to healthy gut health is like eating healthy, exercising, sleeping, breathing, mm -hmm. managing mm -hmm. stress, having mm -hmm. boundaries, saying no, being happy. Mm -hmm. Like all mm -hmm. of that leads to healthy gut, you know? So mm -hmm. it is like just basics. The basics are like what yeah. lead to all this ease and alignment you're talking about. Um, and you can tackle one thing at a time, you know? Um, okay. Next. Uh, what is it when you eat as important as what you, what, what's next on your list? Um, I do actually, while we're on the health is easier than you think. Um, the, I, I want to talk about one postural issue that I okay. call the trifecta. Ooh. Because I want to show the point of how easy it can be. Here's your We're trifecta. so similar girl. <laughs> I have a trifecta <laughs> thing too. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> so do you ever get the numbness and tingling in your thumb and first two fingers? Do you ever have the trigger points in your upper traps, shoulder area? Do you ever get the tightness and tension between your shoulder blades and uh, the, like the rib heads that will pop out and you like, you can't breathe. You know, these, that, those three things all are resolved when you bring your shoulders back, mm. you know, wow. the forward head carriage too, but just this, yeah. you've got your brachial plexus is being crunched when you have everything rolled forward. So what are these nerves doing? They're being impinged the whole way down. Is it going to manifest as tennis elbow? Is it going to manifest as carpal tunnel syndrome? Or are right. you just going to get numbness and tingling? Something's going to be messed up along the way, you know? Yeah. And then muscles working in a lengthened position are just mechanically disadvantaged. Yes. So when you are forward shoulders, everything you do, you're initiating from a weakened position. Mm -hmm. Trigger point, weakness, mm -hmm. ew, yuck. Bring them back. <laughs> Done. 
So, you know, I, I love this and I can uh, vouch from my own experience before I got into health and fitness, I was a mom of four. And so what was I doing all the time? Just round the shoulders, nursing, holding, you know, just typical American, I guess, you know, typical human. We tend to do that if we're not aware, right? And and gravity, you know, and especially when you're breast tissue, it's a thing. So, right. Yeah. And I had started lifting when I, you know, I had already kind of done my little health transformation, but I hadn't fixed any of that stuff. I mm-hmm. haven't gotten into your world yet, you know? And so what I found was for me, it was very hard to hold my shoulders back it and is. down because all of my pecs, pec minor and all this so stuff was shortly. so tight that it took me getting some work done from my mm-hmm. chiropractor and sports massage therapist, opening all that up Excellent. for me to even be able to sit, stand in posture. Cause otherwise it was like, I was like doing like a a full muscle workout, just trying to sit like that. Right. Exactly. So I am like the biggest Cairo sports, uh-huh. massage, that combo of, well, Cairo's yeah. kind of do it all, but I like to also get into the sports massage too, and really go deep for a while. But the, I am the biggest fan ever. I send everybody to chiropractors. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to offend somebody, but I usually send people to chiropractors <laughs> over PTs. Cause I feel like, or a physical therapist. Cause I feel like the chiropractor can do like everything they can do with more in some way, you know, they serve a role too, but but for me anyway, in my journey, it's been super mm-hmm. helpful to help have a chiropractor eliminate those like blockages or the tightness or the weakness exactly. that's inhibiting me from being able to move. And you and can't stand bring your correctly. own joints into that joint range of motion that the chiropractor does. That's why the chiropractor exists. Even my own self. I just went to my chiropractor today because I can't do it on myself. It's so frustrating. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, But yeah, those are things like stretching your hips. Everybody's like, oh, my hips are tight. And I just, I stretch them all the time and you just can't. Anyway, that's right. Yeah. If you haven't gotten a psoas release, then you've never lived (laughs) (laughs) or puked or pulled the, all the sheets off of a massage table. (laughs) (laughs) There's some things you're just not going to do by yourself. Okay. So going back to next on the list. When you eat is as important as what you eat. So Mm. people don't believe me. You know, you're, you were mentioning, you can't see me right now, but I've had seven kids and I have bulging that's, like bodybuilder scenes on my abs, you know, and yes. it's just like, I eat tater tots, you know, I know I probably shouldn't, but, and I drink beer and I have pizza. I don't because of dairy, but like I could, it just hurts my belly, but uh-huh. you know, like I can eat anything I want, but here's what I do. I do intermittent fasting and I eat me in too. my 16 hour window or my eight hour window, yeah. 16 hour. And I eat until I'm 80% full hmm. and boom, I'm done. And if you, re- you really, you know, your, your satiety reflex, you know, this delays. Yeah. And so, and you just get used to this, um, having anything you want, anytime you want, but really just dialing in and listening and mm-hmm. paying attention to when it stops tasting good and paying attention mm-hmm. to when your body's like, Mm -hmm. that was awesome and I am done three bites of that creme brulee was amazing you know and that's usually all you really want and then you never ever 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 feel deprived and it's just a happy same I do the same thing and it's so funny you're I just finished writing all this stuff in my coaching group I was saying like when you fully enjoy your treats like creme brulee or whatever, Mm -hmm. when you're like, Oh Mm -hmm. my gosh, this is amazing. You become like little kids. I like to, we both have kids like Uh little, I'm like, and I I love this for parents as they get it. Cause they're like, how can they just like only take one bite of ice Mm -hmm. cream and then run off and play. And I'm like, because they don't have a restrictive mindset and they're actually just enjoying it and listening to their body's own cues. And yeah, yeah, I'm a psychologist, but you know, there, I've heard this before that you cannot create a have a bad habit without guilt and shame. Wow. So if you take the guilt and shame component completely mm. away, you're never like, I deserve this. I worked so hard today. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna eat every damn bite right. of this brownie Sunday. Like you get in your head and it's this right. back to the manager employee mindset. I'm sneaking a bite while no one's looking, you know. Right. And it's just it's just ridiculous, you know? Yeah. And also I'll add to the intermittent fasting conversation. I intermittent fast because I want good sleep quality, not because I want to be skinny. I'm like, all I'm thinking in my head is like, (laughs) yeah, I'm like, I don't want to mess up my like recovery and not feel Mm -hmm. as good tomorrow. Like, so I'm so so glad you mentioned that because it's an efficiency thing. Why do you think you lost the weight? Because you're not toxic anymore because you 
have time for your body systems to work on immunity and regeneration and detoxification when you're not spending every minute digesting something and all of your blood supply constantly in your gut when it needs to be right. elsewhere. Right. Especially right. Especially in your brain while you're sleeping. Don't eat right before bed. Your right. Brain, your brain shrinks. Well, I call it brainwashing. That's not, a, I didn't make that up. <laughs> But mm-hmm. your brain shrinks while you're asleep and that is your detox time. And yep. you don't have the blood flow to go and clean all that amyloid waste and all those just junk out. That's when you get those degenerative chronic aging diseases because mm-hmm. you've had crap building up in your brain for how many years? Of course yep. you're going to have degenerative disease because you're old because cumulative, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, it breeds to your earlier point about like, just staying in it, it, when you're, when you know that you're not eating a couple hours before bed, not because you're trying to lose weight and you're in this restrictive, like I can't, or I'll get fat when it's, Oh, I know I could, but I want what's best for me. Like, I want to feel right. amazing tomorrow. It builds this, mm-hmm. this freedom. It's like, well, I know I can, it, it's not like any sort of shame or guilt around it. Yeah. I just want that for myself. You know, I just want to feel amazing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I want to live a, a, a thriving life. And then, yeah. so then it's, there's no guilt and shame in there anywhere. It's total exactly. freedom totally and empowered. choosing. Yeah. Choosing mm-hmm. self-love. It's like, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I love this. I love I this combo. Uh uh-huh. Go on. Oh, you go ahead. What were you going to say? I call those the things they're easier to do than not to do. You know, Mm. it's so much easier not to eat before bed than to feel like shit the whole next day. You know, like what was the cost there? It's so much easier to sit up straight than to miss work for a week because you went into a back spasm and you can't even drive much less stand all day, you know? Right. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. By the way, if you have back spasms, you got to check out Dr. Gina's TikTok because you have so uh, many good tips on there and it's stay, fun. stay young, stay Cairo, young stay mm-hmm. wrong, stay young, Cairo, <laughs> stay <Yeah>. wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What's next on your list of magic? Your feet are your foundation. You mm. wouldn't drive on imbalanced tires. Why do you walk on imbalanced feet? Oh my gosh. Tell us more. Yeah. So, I mean, really, they're your very foundation. That sounds so cliche, but if you think about it, you know, when your feet roll in, and that's the most predominant foot um, biomechanical aberrant, but it can be anything. But we'll just talk with that one. If your feet roll in, they take your ankles with them. Mm-hmm. They just have to, you know, and of course, then every, you know, your knee bones connected to your whatever. And so the knees go with it, but your knees are a simple hinge joint. They can only bend in one plane. So to get that inward uh, rotation that happens with the ankles, you have to get this knock knee rolling in position to accommodate that movement. Right. You know, everybody knows, just think tires. I love that analogy because everyone knows they have to keep their tires aligned and balanced, you know? Right. (laughs) How is your knee sitting in that joint, you know? And then you think you have chronic knee pain and you're going to end up with a knee replacement when if you just brought those feet into alignment, don't even get me started on your hips. What do you think that's doing to how the ball right. is sitting in the socket of your hips? And right. if your hips are always stuck like that, then where does it compensate in your low back? You've got right. low back pain, you've got degenerative hips, you've got right. chronic knee pain, and all of it could have just been avoided if you either get orthotics or my favorite thing to do is just retrain the way you stand. You can wow. do it yourself. Wow. It's it's simple. It's not easy. I understand the ask. We've been walking one way our whole lives, Mm. but if you can retrain yourself and I know that you can, because I've done it myself and it's amazing. You solve so many problems. Wow. Yeah. I went through a similar phase when I, cause I used to run marathons was totally mm-hmm. overpronating, totally doing mm-hmm. what you're talking about, had all these injuries. And when I got educated as a trainer, I just started practicing. I would go for walks mm-hmm. and just practice yes. walking difference. Definitely. Right. And, and I got to say on the posture thing, when I started actively working on posture, I was literally just practicing my posture as I was walking places. Cause I was really actively uh-huh. working on that. And I started getting all these, wow, Tara, when you walk into a room, (laughs) you just are like, you just own it. You're just like radiant. I'm like, oh my God, I'm just everything. I'm just practicing posture. I'm not like trying to like, look like I'm owning the room, but I guess I am Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm like literally just practicing. (laughs) Yeah. I don't want to go off on a tangent, but just for one second, when you have this posture, there is an energetic change and you do manifest yourself differently your energy your energy you do you show it's not just that you look confident 
your energy switches. It it's does. true. So. It's true. Cause I do, I do. You feel that you feel mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And I hope teenagers hear this. Cause I'm seeing a lot <laughs> right. of little rounded teenagers these yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What's next. Okay. Pain is communication. Don't ignore it. Mm -hmm. It is, mm -hmm. it's not great communication. So I need to throw that little asterisk in there. Pain's the last thing to show up and it's the first thing to leave in a dysfunction. So it is not your only indicator of health. However, when it's there, it's your body telling you something. Mm -hmm. So when we're just putting, you know, taking ibuprofen or some, some sort of right. whatever, what we're doing is pushing the mute button. Yeah. We're damaging ourselves. Right. And it's like putting duct tape over the check engine light in your car, you know, right. like, <laughs> like you're, you're just trying to tell you something. What right. is it saying to you? You know, listen, address it from its source and then go on your way. You yeah. Know? Yes. I, so. I get almost like, I feel like, because I've built a, a really, I feel like a really like almost adorable relationship with my body. Like I really, <laughs> I, I see my body as like a separate being uh -huh. almost. And I'm you like, what do you need? Thank you. Right? You, thank you for <laughs> fighting that virus. You're so awesome. You're so strong. Like, good job. What do you need? You know, I, I do, yeah. I, I talk to my body like that. So when I hear people say stuff like, oh, my stupid knee, I'm like, oh, I'm like, God. stupid you, you're being the <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's telling you it needs help. And you're just like insulting it. Do you treat your uh -huh. kids like that? Like, you know what I mean? That's exactly. <laughs> where my mind goes. Yeah. It's like, it's trying to tell you something. And I think, mm -hmm. um, a lot of this is programming, right? I feel like, cause you've mentioned the car analogy too. When I think of this often and I'm like, we're so ungrateful for our bodies because we didn't have to like pay for them. Or at least we feel like that. Like they just mm -hmm. got, we feel like it was just this handout. Right. And they're so right. elusive to us sometimes that I think that we just are like, it's crazy how we take better care of a car that we might have like max 10 years I say that all the time. Yeah. We take then, better care of our cars than we do our bodies. <laughs> like completely alters your entire life experience. Like your mm -hmm. soul is like integrated into it. Your mood changes, you, you know, your mood might change a little if your car breaks down on the side of the freeway, but like, it's not like when you're driving down the freeway, like you're either like happy or sad, depending on how healthy your car you is, but you are with right? your, yeah, but you are yeah. with your body, you know? So it's just crazy to me that we aren't listening more, just like you were saying that we're not like, Hey, that's a warning sign. And I think also I wish in elementary schools, they would just like spend most of the time, like teaching kids about how their body works and like psychology and like life and manifestation, mm -hmm. and <laughs> all oh, this stuff, it. but it matters communication. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we don't know where to start sometimes, but honestly, I don't know about you. It seems like you're pretty intuitive with your body too. Like I will literally just ask my body what it needs. So if I start feeling some weird, like pulling or something, I'm like, what do you need? Is like, go to the chiropractor or mm -hmm. go do yoga or mm -hmm. sleep more or like stop okay. doing that one exercise. And I, I seriously will hear stuff like that until you get into your Cairo, you know? And so yeah. I'm like, okay. So anyway, just a thought. Um, okay. What's next? Yes. Okay. Uh, gut health, your gut health is critical to your overall health. Yeah. And that one's just straightforward. You know, if you let your gut go, it just is going to affect your immune system. It's going to affect you're, you're, how inflamed you are, it's going to lead towards these chronic illnesses, these autoimmune diseases. Like you, when your body starts having so many foreign invaders in it, meaning your gut integrity can't keep out, it, it, it can't recognize what's foreign, what's safe, what's unsafe, then your body loses the ability to, it, it just gets overwhelmed and doesn't have the bandwidth to um, right. de determine between what's good and what's bad. And it just starts to mount an all out attack on whatever, mm -hmm. you know, there you go. You have an autoimmune disease, you have rheumatoid arthritis, yeah. you have anything where your body's attacking itself. It just, just yeah. pick what structure it's going to attack. And that's the name mm -hmm. of the autoimmune disease you have, you know? So a biggest yeah. offenders on gut health and then biggest like practices to maintain healthy gut. Health. So your microbiome, <laughs> I know you're big on microbiome, but mm -hmm. you know, people think, ew, bacteria gross. And our bacteria in our stomach is our best friend, probably yep. in the whole world. You know, yeah, um, it affects your mood. It affects your chemical absorption, your hormone totally. absorption production. 
you know, like, like I, I could go off on for hours on how important your gut lining is. And when, yeah. okay, so biggest offender, sorry, let me not get off track here. <laughs> no, um, go ahead, girl. It, so, it deserves, it deserves a rant. <laughs> um, so microbiome, anytime we're taking antibiotics, you know, I have yeah. to be, yeah. I have to say, of course, I would also be dead without on antibiotics. We all would use them when necessary and only when necessary because they take a toll on your body. You know, um, they're mm-hmm. going to kill off the good and the bad. They don't, they don't um, distinguish. And, and then you've got to rebuild it. So if you have right. been on a course of antibiotics, it's okay. Just know that you need to rebuild that integrity. Um, also, you know, your inflammatory foods, like tons of sugar is going to mm-hmm. mess up your, your stomach lining. Um, and alcohol, like soda, <laughs> alcohol. Oh my soda, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so those things, anything that uh, is going to be, yeah. Uh, bring it in your inflammatory diet, you know? Yeah. So. And I would say also like, um, a not very much variety in the diet for a very long mm-hmm. time. Cause mm-hmm. certain bacteria starve off some to get fed better, you know? So, right. I mean, I, I understand sometimes people are doing that to heal their gut after stuff's already wrong, but like right. when I and see like, didn't, yeah. When I see people that are like, all I've eaten for the last 10 years is oats and three egg whites for breakfast and this same chicken and broccoli and the same, you know, piece of uh-huh. steak and, you know, half a potato. And that's literally all I've eaten for the last 10 years. I'm like, dang, what happens when you don't eat that every once in a while? But it's like, I mean, uh-huh. maybe I'm not saying yeah. for sure, but it worries me when I yeah, see a lot of, good. yeah, variety is good. Um, and that's the beauty of intermittent fasting and like you, like, I don't sweat it. I don't sweat yeah. it at all. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's so funny. You said tater tots. Cause I went to, I took my, it's my son's 10th birthday today. And I took him to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. And I totally had a few of his little hash brown things, which are basically uh-huh. tater tots. And right. that's how it is. It's like, you just don't sweat it that much when mm-hmm. you mostly eat healthy and you're intermittent right. fasting. It's like no big deal. Um, okay. What's next? Um, bad posture is expensive and you're smarter than that. All right. So this, this is where we started. I love it. Go on your, go on your tire. What do you mean by that? By it's bad posture is expensive. I like to use the word expensive because it's a, it's a, it's a term everybody understands. So if you think of your body's energy as your body's currency, you only have one currency to spend and it's your body's energy. It's the same thing that you use for digesting and detoxing and immunity and creativity and all of the fun, your hormonal balance and promo, you know, production and everything we need has to happen. And so when we are spending this energy on doing things like, I don't know if I'm on video, but uh, head forward car- uh, carriage, every inch that your head is forward makes it way double to your body. Wow. So the impact on your body is like, I have to work a lot harder. Why would you do that? You know, and that's just your head. Think how much your trunk weighs. And and it it sounds silly, but imagine, okay, here's a scenario, family holiday, someone breaks out a puzzle. We're all sitting around talking and leaning over, looking for our pieces. Next thing you know, you've been leaning over for two hours and your back hurts and you, it snuck up on you because you just didn't really think about it. That was something you didn't really need to do. All you got to do is put your hand down, one hand down while you're searching, you become a triangle, which is the strongest Mm. shape. And now that motion is free instead Mm. of expensive, you know, Mm. Mm. little things like that. If you just think about how the body works, when you're sitting up straight with ears over shoulders, over hips, over, um, well, when you're standing it's hips over knees, over ankles, when it's seated, you know, it's a 90 degrees angles from the hips, knees and ankles. But, um, when you sit like that, that's your free position. You're barely working at all to maintain that. Now, so everybody, you know, it makes sense when you're leaning forward that that costs money, so to speak. But what see, the, here's the counterintuitive one is the slouch. When you're leaning backwards, this seems like a free posture because it's so relaxed and so mm. easy. Mm. That's the sneaky one because what happens is your, your, weight is transferred from the big vertebral bodies, which are the weight bearing joints into the little facet joints in the back, which are the motion guiding joints. Mm. And they're not equipped to handle a lot of weight. All they're there for is to make sure you don't shear your spinal cord when you're reversing out of the driveway, you know? Right. So 
those little joint capsules around these tiny little joints get stretched when we put so much weight into them. And it's a mm. slow motion sprain strain is what you're doing to yourself. Wow. Well, what does your body do? It's amazing at compensating and supporting. Yeah. Yeah. So your low back muscles are going to come in and support that perceived instability right. that these messages that are being sent to your brain. Oh no, we're unstable help. So the right. muscles come in and they're awesome. They can do it for a little while, but they also have their own job. So how long does it take till they get caregiver fatigue? That's your back spasm. That's when you wow. bend over to put your shoe on and you're like, Oh, uh, someone help. Right. I can't get up. You know, it's a progression and it's expensive. Don't do wow. it. Yeah. Not to mention like the core weakness that gets mm -hmm. created when you're just never oh, sitting up. Did we, we get to one. the core stuff? We, we skipped, skipped that one, huh? One. All right, let's hit it. <laughs> Perfect timing. Your core is your core. Strengthen it and it'll always have your back. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Me, but yeah. So like if you have strong core musculature, one, I just call it capacity. You have the capacity for your light. Everybody has a job that sucks one way or another. And I'm one of them too. You know, I'm bending over, adjusting, tossing body, right. helping, you know, you got to have a strong core one for your daily capacity, but two for those times when you do reach for a suitcase in the overhead compartment at a weird, awkward, vulnerable angle, you don't want to go down, you know? So you, if mm -hmm. you, if you're strong, you can handle those every once in a while caveat, try to avoid those in the first place, you know, but yeah but have the capacity for your life. And mm. I just realized I don't have on here balance. Your balance is huge too. Balance is tied to longevity. So, so work on balance, just stand on one foot for a few minutes yeah. every day. If that's all you get to, I mean, yoga, that's where you'd really want to be, but anyway. Right. Right. Yeah. I never want to get in a situation where I like, can't go across the stream on rocks or something. Cause I'm like, you know what exactly. I mean? <laughs> oh, totally. Flip on ice, anything, anytime right. you fall, you've got a recovery you know, and there goes your longevity. You, you, yeah. you, how much have you taken? How much do you have to work to get back to where you were? You know, right. Yeah. It's like, so. use it or lose it. You know, that's and, why I and, like to do box it. jumps and stuff. It's like, I don't want to yeah. not be able to jump someday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes your life easy. Why are you going to put yourself in a vulnerable situation when you could just maintain what you have? All right. Along, you know, right. So, so much easier that way. So my, my final tagline is I'm always here to be your band-aid, but life is more fun when you treat me like your oil change. I love it. I love so, it. Yeah. I don't want to chase symptoms. I want to make things just work the right yeah. way. And life feels good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Last thing on the core, I got to say, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll vulnerably share. This is like embarrassing for me when this happened. So I, I, I've been going, you know, doing chiropractic and massage work forever. And my massage therapist was working on all of my abdominal okay. attachments. And she was like, oh my gosh, it is a disaster in here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was just having this moment. I'm like, I had four pregnancies and never Never, even after becoming a trainer and everything, I just kind of totally neglected it. And, and mm -hmm. after she started working on all that, I finally started getting ab definition because I never really had ab uh, definition. And uh -huh. I was like, oh my gosh, it was just like That's this crazy. face palm moment of like, why did I not do that? And like, do you, you know, can you just, since we're both moms for mm -hmm. women, I mean, I know men, obviously, because men, we got a ton of low back pain with men and stuff too. But like, in terms of like, being able to strengthen the core. Do you find that there are a lot of inhibitions often that people might need a extra set of hands on to really get that done in the most optimal way? Do you run into Absolutely. that very much? If yeah. you can't move properly, like one, it's going to hurt to work out. So you're not going to want to, yeah. two, you're not like, like some people physically cannot get into the proper position to do a proper mm -hmm. squat. You right. know, so right. how are they ever going to build if, right. they can, if they're limited in the first place, you know, and, and those are the kinds of things that with the, these, you know, functional, um, assistances from whatever specialty you choose right. that can really help with that mobility and, right. and yeah, capacity there. Right. I mean, I, I have like a massive copy and paste on TikTok because sometimes it's scary as a trainer to even, I'm like, God, I don't know, man. I, I don't even know if, you know, Janet in Washington state should ever be doing anything. I'm It's just always like, go get mm -hmm. chiropractic and sports massage. Chiro I mean, I have right. said that hundreds of so times, times because right. it's just like, if you, if you have massive neural or muscular inhibitions, mm -hmm. you're not gonna, I mean, maybe, right. but it's gonna be really hard to 
fix that on your own. And that, I mean, it, uh -huh. like you said, the oil change thing, like that's a, it's a basic self-care to mm -hmm. me going to my chiropractor is base, especially with the amount of, uh, that I'm training and, right. and body, lifting yeah. heavy. It's basic, basic self-care, you know? So yeah. That's one thing I, um, I'm glad that you brought that up. I would like to just point out to people as a point of compassion, think of the demand that you place on your body on a daily basis, you know? And when you, you know, going back to people who talk with, without compassion to their bodies, oh my gosh, you, you know, <laughs> it's, there's a lot that we're asking. There's a lot that yes. we've been through, you know, think yes. of the traumas, both physical, emotional, whatever, like these play into it. So yeah. when you're feeling like a piece of shit, when you're yeah. feeling discouraged and like, oh, well, yeah, that's easy for you, but right. have some compassion, you yeah. know? Yeah. If you ate that brownie and you ate every bite of it, even though it didn't feel good, and then you're like, ah, see, I am a piece of shit. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know what? Start over tomorrow. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Just, yeah. There's life at a lot of it. And just know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I, um, self compassion by Kristen Neff is a book that I have mm -hmm. all my clients read. And mm -hmm. I look at it as just like when in those moments, the same thing, like you just put your hand on your heart, like just like a really great friend or like, it's like, Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yep. And that, yeah. If self-compassion is at the basis of what you're doing, we have so many similar thoughts, girl. Like I had that so intuitively come to me once it was just so crystal clear. And it was as much demand as you're placing on your body, you need to give it just as much gentle recovery. Like I was getting, you know, it's like, this is when I started actively mm -hmm. doing Cairo and sports massage. Cause it was like, Hey, that's mm -hmm. not nice to just mm -hmm. only demand and never right. give back and make sure it's okay. You know, like mm -hmm. we think like working out is self-care, but working out is actually, a, mm -hmm. it is, it is it's an intentional stressor on your body. That's intentional stress. And it's like breaking ourselves down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's like, come on, like it, you also need to make sure it's doing okay. It's just like basic self-love. Yeah. So anyway, we're so aligned. I, thank you so much for taking the time in the middle of your work day and your practice. And if, if you guys are tuning in from Utah, Gina is in uh, Murray, mm -hmm. in, in the Murray Long area. So yes, yeah, stay young chiropractic.com. And if you are anywhere else in the world, or if you want to fly in, you could always do that. But if okay. you're, if you're tuning in from anywhere else in the world, you can follow her on TikTok at stay young Cairo on TikTok, And she's got yeah. so many awesome tips on there. Gina, thank you. You're just Thanks, like, girl. you got it, girl. You got it. Appreciate, <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.